Okay, today we're going to talk about Eagle connecting rods, H-beam and I-beam. We'll start with their I-beam rod. This is their SIR 5140 forged version. They feature a 3 8 ARP cap screw, small block, 7 16 and big block. Bushed fit for floating wrist pins. Press fit. Small block have the stroker clearancing. You may have to clearance a little bit more depending upon what your camshaft lift and duration is. Horsepower rating 500 on small block, 700 on big block. Off to the H beam, 4340 forged material, all come bushed, 716 ARP 8740 rod bolt, that's standard in every connecting rod unless you get the upgrade. Upgrade available to a 2000 or L19 in most any one of the H beams. This is the stroker clearance, such as the 3875 or 4 inch crankshaft. So if you're doing a 427 or 415, uh, this is a connecting rod you're going to need for, for camshaft clearance. You can see there, they removed quite a bit of material there to aid in that. You can also see the extra vein going down the inside. It's one of the unique characteristics of an Eagle connecting rod. Now I'll show you their featherweight, which is just a miniature H-beam. This is for lower horsepower applications, such as a two-barrel engine. These are typically right around the 530 to 600 grams, depending upon length. They all come standard with ARP 2003 8 rod bolts. They all come bushed. We'll show you the size difference between the featherweight and a normal H beam. There you can see quite a bit thinner. Whenever you reduce weight, you reduce the capability of what that product is going to handle for power. So we'll recap, uh, small block, 500 horsepower, big block, 700 horsepower, small block Chevrolet H-beam, 750 out of the box, ARP 2000 L19 will get you to 1200, big block Chevrolet will go to 850 out of the box, 1400 with the upgrades, and the featherweight is typically right around your 500. Lightweight pistons will help make this rod live a lot longer. Uh, every rod comes packaged plus or minus two grams. They all come with ARP lube. Directions as far as how to torque them. Uh, if you need any help or assistance, please give us a call. We'll help you figure out which connecting rod is best suited for your application. We use these connecting rods on a daily basis in our race motors so we know what does and doesn't work. Please, if you have any more questions on any of these connecting rods, uh, feel free to give us a call. CNC Motorsports, 800-341-1528.